this video, we're gonna analyze the backhand volley. Not always an easy shot to pull off, especially if somebody's hitting the ball real hard at you while you're at the net. We're gonna do the same thing we have with the other strokes. Let's go ahead and set those key positions and let's take a look at what's going on with the backhand volley. The first key position is the ready position. Just like the forehand, the backhand, and the forehand volley. Keep in mind that when you have a good ready position, you're ready to volley. A ready position is where we're in reaction ready and you're able to hit those volleys and lunge to those volleys wherever they might be hit. As you can notice here, Tommy Haas has got very good foundation. So does Maria. Very, very similar in their base, very similar in their knee bend. Both of these players have good foundation, so I'm confident that no matter how hard the opponent hits the ball at them, they'll be able to stick their volleys. Once we see the, the ready position, we're gonna roll it forward just a little bit more into the shoulder turn. Watch how both these players get a good shoulder turn. That's gonna allow them, as they start to come forward, to make contact in front, which is our next key position. Right there. Maria, notice how we've got a different, we've got an open stance here, and you're lunging forward. It's still the same fundamentals. That just depends on the type of ball that's being hit to you at that time. Maria does a great job of using the opposite leg to really lunge forward to hit her backhand volley. That's gonna create a little bit more power on the volley. As we go forward to the finish, you're gonna notice that the bottom edge of the racket is gonna lead just a little bit, creating that little bit of underspin that we need to keep the ball low. And you've always done a great job of applying a little bit of underspin to those volleys to make them stay low. I think it really helps you when you start playing in your points, when you start approaching the net. So the finish on these look pretty good. Keep in mind that right after, right after we have the finish of our volley, it's important to get right back in that ready position, that good foundation, so you're ready to react to the next ball. Both players do a great job of that. That's why we're confident, no matter what the ball speed might be, both of them can handle the backhand volley. That wraps up our backhand volley analysis. Coming up in our IMG video analysis series, we're gonna show you how you can film point play and use that with your students to discuss strategies and tactics.